Yo, how's it going, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series right here on Football Therapy where I... T <laughs> okay, let's go through the whole spiel. Where I consolidate any football news regarding Chelsea Football Club and present it to you guys here in one manageable package. Blah, 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 you know the spiel. Anyway, a couple of big bangers to talk about today. Ethan Ampadu, Chelsea starlet, incredibly highly rated defensive midfielder slash centre half has gone on loan to Bramwell Lane to play for the Blades for one year. I think this is excellent. Ethan Ampadu has been great for Wales recently. That could have only helped his cause in getting a decent loan move. We're going to basically pick apart that. And sources are telling The Athletic and loads of publications are saying that Chelsea are on the verge of signing a goalkeeper to complete the superstar transfer window. Is it a superstar Galaxico level goalie? No, it's Edouard Mandi, a goalkeeper we've been talking about a lot. Highly rated. Big news, man. Massive. We're going to crack into that. Good opportunity to remind you, man, to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not already done so, mate, if you do subscribe, thank you. Hit that bell notifications icon. And if you want to support your boy and help me out, please do drop a like on this video. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Perfect opportunity to let you know as well. I'm now on Twitch. Ding. That's right, mate. Not necessarily just for video games, although I will be playing FIFA 20 and FIFA 21 when it comes out, but also you might find episodes of Chatting Balls over on there as well. I'll leave a link in the top of the description to my Twitch channel. It's loads of fun, mate. Come hang out with me. Click the link. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with... Ethan Ampadu, the young Welsh superstar. Ampadu joined Chelsea under the Conte regime, played well when he was put into the first team. He was only 17 year old and hailed from Exeter, but this kid was incredibly highly rated. Conte rated him highly, Sari rated him highly, even though they didn't really play him, and indeed Frank Lampard does as well. Something that I've echoed on Football Therapy before is Frank Lampard's glowing review of Ethan Ampadu when Lampard was appointed Chelsea manager, saying he'd like to work with him, but the RB Leipzig loan sounded like a positive move. Spoiler, it wasn't. Still, Frank Lampard obviously very keen to work with him, but when a good opportunity comes up and when you've got Thiago Silva, Christensen, Rudiger, Zuma, Tomori, and you don't really know what your defence is doing, sending a very young player player like Ethan Ampadu away on loan is seemingly a good idea. And he secured a move to the Blades. I think he was looking at Fulham as well. To be honest, man, what I was saying recently, and I was tweeting out about this, after his immaculate performances for Wales in a back two, after we've seen him being immaculate in a back three for um, RB Leipzig against Tottenham in the Champions League, but he didn't really play more games than that. And of course for Wales as well in CDM. At this point, after these two recent games for Wales, I was like, look man, if he's not part of this Chelsea squad coming into the season, then it has to be a Premier League loan. A Premier League loan, not a Championship loan, not a European League now, he's had an experience in Germany. A Premier League loan, I was happy with the concept of Fulham, keep him in Chelsea, keep him in Fulham. But you know what man, Bramwell Lane, Sheffield United, that is a blinder. At first I was thinking, yeah man, they play a back three system. Chris Wilder, an amazing coach. Top half Premier League team. This isn't Fulham, a promoted club. They finish them in the top half and they'll have designs to do the same. What an epic loan, but is he going to squeeze into that back three? Chris Wilder seemingly likes a settled defence, but people are speculating he'll play in defensive midfield. Regardless, as long as he gets a decent amount of Premier League minutes under the coaching of Chris Wilder, I think this could be an excellent move for all parties, Chelsea, Ethan and Sheffield. Let's see what Chelsea had to say about this loan. Ethan Ampadu will continue his development in the Premier League with Sheffield United after joining the Blades on a season-long loan. It will be a second temporary switch for Ampadu who turns 20 next week. He spent a last season gaining experience at RB Leipzig where he was the teammate of Timo Werner. He played seven games in Germany including the full 90 minutes of the Champions League round of 16 win against Tottenham on Leipzig's path to the semi-finals in that competition. Capable of playing at centre-back or midfield, Ampadu has been a regular in the senior Wales team since making his debut against France at age 17. In the past seven days, he's helped Ryan Giggs' side record record back-to-back 1-0 victories against Finland and Bulgaria with assured performances at the heart of the defence. You can understand how that may have been the tipping point for him to get such a decent loan after two excellent performances. He joins a 
Sheffield United side that surprised many by finishing in 9th place in the Premier League last season following their promotion from the Championship. Chris Wilder's side start the new campaign by hosting Wolves on the same night we travel to Brighton. Their second lead match is away to Aston Villa. And that's what Chelsea have to say. Basically, it's an excellent loan. I'm very excited to watch him on the Premier League. Keeping him close to home. To, you know, We're going to watch Sheffield United matches in the Premier League and we're going to be like... There's our boy, Ethan Ampadu, being superb. Anyway, that's good. Let's move on. So, of course, Chelsea have completed football by signing all the best footballers in the world in this transfer window. But yes, goalkeeper is still a massive problem. And although it's seemingly looking like Chelsea aren't going to throw 100 million at Jan Oblak, they seem very, very keen on Edouard Mandi, indeed, of Ra. Ra. Now, of course, the initial link here would be Petr Cech to his old club, Ra. Uh, Chelsea were looking a lot in Liga in France, scouting goalkeepers there, and they were looking seemingly for affordable options. Mandi has not been at Ra for very long, but he's impressed and Ra looking to make a massive profit on the 28-year-old goalkeeper. That's right, it's not super young up and coming, perhaps how we saw, you know, a Keparitha Balaga or perhaps Dean Henderson's of this world. He's 28, he's senior, but he's a goalkeeper and goalkeepers go well into their 30s. So you could have him theoretically, if he does well at Chelsea, for comfortably like six or even seven years. Not that we have to think that far ahead. Think about it, if Frank Lampard was willing to play a 38 year old Willy Caballero in goal, he'll comfortably play a goalkeeper a decade younger in goal. <laughs> Potentially as the first team goal goalkeeper. Now it's reported that Chelsea initially had a bit of around 14 million pounds waved away by Ran, but Chelsea were persistent and Petr Cech and people around Chelsea Football Club are very interested in this player and me not being an expert in goalkeeping in any way shape or form I'm going to trust Big Pete on this one. Chelsea have come back in for the player very very hard and apparently 25 million pound ish is the reported fee that will put this deal over the line and so Simon Johnston of The Athletic and other, you know, publications he writes for pretty much has been told I'm expected or I've been told to expect this deal to go over the line very, very soon indeed. So this is positive news. I, I've watched some of Edouard Mundy's highlights. I think the most important thing with this potential signing, signing if it indeed is about to happen, is how different he is to Kepper and how he's pretty much going to fix the things that we're bad at at the moment. Sure, he's a good shot stopper, supposedly, Amandi, but he's very, very tall and he's got an incredibly long reach. His wingspan is huge. He's going to be able to claim high balls, which is a massive problem for us, going out and just grabbing balls out of the air and also reaching the corners. People were shooting at Kepper like, right in the corner and often he just couldn't save it. Kepper's low confidence made him really poor towards the end of last season in terms of claiming balls as well. All these attributes and traits Edouard Mandi is very very good at so you can understand why Frank Lampard sent Petr Cech to s fix the problem and this is how he thinks he can fix it. It does pose the obvious question though who's going to start for Chelsea next season? The world record fee goalkeeper person Keparitha Balaga who is widely recognized as a talented goalkeeper with issues at the moment or a 28 year old 25 million pound goalkeeper in Edouard Mandi and let's be honest we can all guess is probably going to be the latter. Willy Caballero did sign a one-year contract extension but I think that's to be the third team goalkeeper or the third choice, the third team goalkeeper, the third choice goalkeeper for the first team purely because he's a great character, great to have around the training ground etc. Jamie Cumming went on loan, you don't need an academy kid to be the third uh, choice goalkeeper because there's academy kids everywhere at Chelsea at the moment. So it's very very interesting. If Chelsea do indeed get Edouard Mundi across the line that's pretty much a massive problem sorted they've got loads of new attackers scoring goals will not be a problem for Chelsea and it wasn't last season and even less so this upcoming season and now in theory the defense should be a lot better with Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell and Edouard Mandi in goal no excuses Chelsea go out there and just be better don't have to win the league just be better don't ship 56 goals or however many it was. You know what I mean? Anyway, what do you think? Comment your thoughts and feelings down below in the comment section below. I said below twice there. I want to get down and see what you guys are saying. I want to interact with you, so make sure you do express yourselves. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, just like it anyway. Do me a favor. <laughs> just kidding. Also, do go check out my Twitch channel, man. Link in top of the description. Twitch.tv forward slash Yard. Go show some support. 
other than that, I'm out. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby.